I'm Francesco Caio. In June 2013, Prime Minister Enrico Letta called me and asked me to take the role of uh, digital champion and government commissioner for the implementation of the digital agenda in Italy. I'm a computer science engineer by degree. Most of my career has been spent in technology-related industries. I'm currently CEO of Avio Aero. It's a company uh, operating in jet engine technology based in Turin. I've had other experience of working with governments. In 2008, Prime Minister Gordon Brown asked me to lead an independent review of broadband infrastructure in the UK. In 2009, a similar exercise for the Italian government. In my very first meeting with Prime Minister Letta in the context of this appointment, he clarified three uh, criteria, objectives or light guides, as you wish, that he wanted to uh, implement in the managing and leading the digital agenda in Italy. The first one is that with this government and starting from this government, digital agenda has become an item for the Prime Minister agenda, which is an important step to send a very strong signal about the importance of digitization for Italy as a country, both in terms of public as well as private sector. The second one is that the focus is indeed on implementation. A lot of thoughts, a lot of projects have been identified and specified by previous cabinets. Now it's time to turn these ideas and those ideas into implementation. And the third and probably most important one was to anchor whatever action and implementation of digital agenda in Italy to the framework of the European vision of digital agenda. And these are the three axes along the which I have moved uh, to uh, execute this mandate. Over the last few months, what I have done with my team um, is, can be divided into three things. The first one was to identify three projects where we could apply sound project management techniques and start an acceleration of the implementation. These three projects are a national uh, register for um, uh, the population, which I regard as an integrated logical index of other digital services that uh, over time the public administration will offer to citizens. The second one is digital identity as a system to simplify and strengthen in terms of security and privacy the relationship between citizens and digital systems of public administration. And the third one is a process of e-invoices that we believe and deem as essential to found uh, the review of spending, spending review, to anchor that spending review to hard facts that can be digitally uh, analyzed and stored by the state. I am pleased to say that this approach has led to an acceleration in implementation. We now have a very tight timetable on all of these projects. In particular, on the invoices, we have um, a bunch of servers that are up and running, a, a structure defined, the standard identified that by June 2014, it will be mandatory for companies invoicing central public administration, such as ministers, um, uh, and, and uh, uh, central uh, bodies of the public administration we can pass to send e-invoices. The second thing that we've done is that we have worked very hard to shape a robust governance that goes well beyond the task of the Commissioner and could be regarded as a key element of governance of digitization process in Italy that is centered around the digital um, uh, agency in Italy. We have defined a steering board that is fairly strongly anchored to the Prime Minister's office and I feel confident that uh, by the end of the current year 2000, this new charter of the digital agency will be issued uh, to support these new governments. And the third one, which we're working on at the moment, is to define a clear roadmap for the overall architecture of what we define as the digital version of our Republic. An opportunity to, in short document, identify what are the key important databases, what is the interoperability flows among them, what is the logical and physical perimeter of how the state should handle it, with a strong view that everything is done to the benefit of citizens, 
and companies operating in this country. The overall priority remains the implementation of digital agenda that, thanks to the commitment of Prime Minister and in the context of what Europe, and you've seen what the recent European Council has issued in terms of statement, is clearly defined as a pillar of a structural reform. What President Letta has now very clearly stated that digital agenda equals a structural reform of our state. And that's the nature of the opportunity and the nature of the priorities that we have ahead of us. Execution for me and my team will continue to be the driver of what we do, but increasingly with an eye to ensure that the governance and the political importance of digital agenda gets very well rooted into day-to-day -day policies and politics uh, to become, hopefully, one of the key themes of future electoral campaigns. The gap between citizens and public administration in Italy can be filled with a good, well-executed digital agenda. The future of young generations can be brightened up through a more modern system. These are all themes that are very dear to the heart of the Prime Minister and I'm encouraged by what I've seen um, over the last uh, few months. You might have seen that recently the Prime Minister has asked me also to lead a task force to take a look at the broadband infrastructure in Italy to see whether we are travelling in the right direction to meet the European Union 2020 targets set as part of the digital agenda. So the next few months will be a lot of hard work. I don't see myself in this role forever. I see here to serve the Prime Minister agenda to make sure that Italy gets ahead possibly of the pact in terms of uh, implementing the digital agenda. And I very much look forward to seeing you all uh, in the next meeting. Thank you very much.